Move, guys, go. Go play. Go play. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, welcome back to the channel. I missed you guys. Hopefully, you guys miss me. And let's get right into it. So, for the beginning of March, I put my own goal to be down from 231, which I currently stand, down to 210 to 205. So that's about 20 to 25 pounds by the end of March, which I think sounds reasonable. Doesn't sound too difficult. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I really, really want to keep on moving with the different lifestyle that I'm trying to put into my life, if that makes sense. Um, I want to see big changes coming up. You know, March, March is something to, to come up on. So let me show you what I've been doing for the month of February. I got a scale called uh, Fit Index, and it comes with an app that tracks a bunch of things, which I'm not too familiar about. But it's pretty cool. I like it. So let's check it out now. All right, so on here, uh, I put my name, put everything when I started to right now. Like I said, I'm at 231. So uh, you know, that's all my changes and stuff. So my weight, so obviously it's really, really bad. Uh, but we're here to make changes, all right? So happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Um, normal says 168. Yeah, I mean, we can shoot for that, but like I said, you know, I want to hit that by the end of the month, the 210, 205. So the body mass index, again, it's really, really high. We got to bring those numbers down. You know, we're up here. We got to bring them down low. Uh, body fat's way too much, way too much. Again, we got to bring it down. So my ideal would be 12 to 15% body fat. So... Uh, fat free body weight I'm not sure what that is uh, looks like it's in the green so we're pretty good substantious fat and it's high so again we got to bring that down this the cereal fat excessive and we got to bring it down uh, looks like a lot of these things I got to bring down kind of worries me a lot is seeing this one right here which is my metabolic age so for those of you who don't know, I'm 20, going on to 21, and it's telling me my body's at 27. That's seven years older. Uh, it's pretty bad. So, uh, I, like I said, I don't want to be living this lifestyle uh, that I've been living for the past two years. I want to make big changes. I want to keep to it. I want to start working out more, start uh, eating healthier. You know, uh, this weekend I treated myself a bit just because I went a whole month clean eating. Uh, I went to go see a movie, got some food because my little sister works there, so I didn't pay like $4,000 for food. But just eating all that stuff after clean eating for such a long time makes you realize how bad it is for your body. Like, I felt sick this morning. It's just... It's, it's not a good feeling. It makes you tired. It makes you lazy. It makes your body just kind of shut down instead of how I was, you know, super energetic and stuff. So I just got to jump back right into it. Uh, I really regret this weekend, even though I wanted to treat myself. It was just kind of, you know, the long term results really, really sucked. But moving along from that, uh, I'm going to start implementing a lot more running into my mornings. Uh, implementing my dogs to go out to run with me so they can stay healthy and fit as well. I'm gonna try to push out as many vlogs with them as well because a lot of people like dogs and they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm also thinking about uh, an app that I can download to track my running so I can post with you guys too so you guys can keep up with what I'm doing. Just kinda see how I'm going and kind of a little motivation so if anybody knows any good apps to download for running uh, just put them in the comments below hit me up on Instagram snapchat anything any of my social medias I'll put them in the description below as well um, yeah so running that's a big thing I want to get back into 
And uh, I will be trying to put out, well I will, I'm not going to try, I will be putting out uh, weekly weigh-ins just to see how I'm going with my progress. Just a little motivation as well, so um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. Not Nothing too exciting, nothing too crazy, just a uh, real sit down one on one conversation with you guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, if not, whatever, but uh, this is just kind of a way to keep myself honest and keep myself on track and for you guys just to kind of push me and show a little motivation. Uh, you know, by my 21st birthday, I really, really, really expect to be super healthy, but, you know, baby steps will get there. You know, it's like, uh, it's like my friend Chris told me, you know, small changes lead to big changes, so just those little amounts are going to get you moving. Uh, and for anybody that's also struggling on trying to make changes like that, uh, I understand it's hard. It's always, always difficult to get the ball rolling. But once that ball starts rolling, you, know, you just got to let it keep going and keep going. Uh, yeah, little things can turn into big things, whether it's good or bad. So, again, I really appreciate you guys coming back. Uh, really appreciate the subscribers. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, thanks for all the support as well. It really means a lot coming from all the people that I know. I've been getting really good feedback, really good uh, just comments on everything. So it makes me feel good and it makes me motivated to keep on making changes. So again, so just uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Appreciate it.